David, you earned um, a Golden Globe nomination for your performance as Martin Luther King Jr. in the movie Selma. And since then, you've been very outspoken about including people of color in the Academy. Is the problem uh, the casting or gaining the recognition from that group? Um, I, I think ultimately, as has been said severally since all of that has kicked off, it's, it's about doing diversity as opposed to talking mm-hmm. diversity and I think that that's what we're trying to do and have done in a sense with this film you know when Maris says that it is important that he was a, a man of color and that race is not the theme of the film it's because that's what our society is that's the world we actually live in and to have that reflected in film I think is going to break down these barriers and break down the need for constantly talking about the need for diversity well you, you mentioned film but we're seeing a lot of colorblind casting in theater, mm-hmm. especially in Shakespeare, mm-hmm. uh, not only here in New York, but you played Henry the Sixth in England, becoming the first black actor to play an English king in the, the Royal Shakespeare Company's productions. Mm-hmm. Uh, are things different in the UK? or Well, I, would it be I, just I, as hard for you to get a role like this in an English movie? Uh, it would. It, it would is the truth of the matter. But, um, you know, me getting to play Henry VI at the Royal Shakespeare Company was the first time that had happened. And then it has gone on to happen severally since then. And in a sense, that's what we're looking for in film, is to break down these barriers that are largely being held up by gatekeepers who are telling the industry, telling writers, telling producers that the audience wants to see a certain thing. And the, actually, the audience is telling us something else.